It's one of the older casinos, archaic and run down. Its woodwork ranks of smoke, and its carpets have a sweet, rancid sponginess that my English shoes like. I go there every other weekend night or so, losing a thousand a week from my inexhaustible fund. I go there to scatter my wan, my dollars, my kwai. And losing there is easier than winning, more gratifying. In The Ballad of a Small Player, author Lawrence Osborne tells the struggles of a gambler in Macau, Asia's Las Vegas. The novel, published in April, has received rave reviews. Osborne's critically acclaimed works include The Forgiven and The Wet and the Dry. It's not really a travel book about Islam. It's an exploration of the idea of why people drink and why they don't drink, which is more to the point. His insightful observations on foreign cultures were likely honed by his years as a journalist. It's, it's all writing, but writing and journalism and fiction is sort of like the organ and the piano. But when I try to go from the piano to the organ, I realize it's a completely different instrument, even though it has the same keyboard. Not only is it uh, different technically, but it's different emotionally as well. It brings a different kind of joy as well. The British-born writer admits to having a strong nomadic tendency. Having lived in New York, Mexico, Istanbul, he is currently based in Bangkok. Thailand was never a colony, unlike Hong Kong. It's one of the only places in the world that was never a colony. So I like to live in a place where I'm actually invisible, in a way, in a, in a nice way. It's not hostile, it's not um, passive-aggressive, nothing. It's just neutral. I think the idea of living in England for the whole life makes me suicidal. I just the idea it makes me suicidal. I will just be living in some fixed suburb somewhere. And I don't think I'm the kind of person that would have thrived. Osborne's next novel, Hunters in the Dark, is once again set in Asia. My son was actually at school with another boy who went to Cambodia and disappeared. My story is kind of loosely based on that idea of an English, a very young English boy who goes to Cambodia and things happen to him and so on. I guess there was something very haunting about that story and disturbing. The focus on travel and settings in exotic places have led to comparisons to fellow British writer Graham Greene. It's an embarrassing comparison in many ways. Greene is a very great writer. I mean, I don't think uh, I, would, I would have to publish a lot more to be compared to something like that. I mean, I mean you know, if ever, really. But carry on saying it, it's fine. <laughs> I have no objections. <laughs> Part of this year's lineup of international authors at the HKTDC Hong Kong Book Fair, Osborne shared his thoughts on the state of the literary field. We're always being told the novel is dead and it's dying and blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think that's true. Uh, I know from my, from my own experience that actually it's quite alive, it's quite, it's quite buoyant right now. It's not something to be that pessimistic about. But it's still great to see a million people in a book book. It's very enjoyable. <laughs>